Hello, this is Broyer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for Civilization VI as we continue our day to run with Elizabeth I of England. We got six cities in the last episode, our sixth city right here, Manchester. Um, I don't know, mostly happy. Uh, like I said, I think we have a couple more spots for a couple more cities, maybe. It is close to around that eight number would be a decent number. But this island is basically ours, which is pretty cool. All right, so we did get to kill that unit. That's awesome. And we look with pride and okay, that harbor adjacency is pretty big. This is actually getting bigger, too. I mean, I think we still kind of need this for right now, but this is definitely very tempting. All right, I think I'm okay with all, all that. One envoy. Anything we can flip to us? So we can flip Lahore to us. There's some Nihang units. Those are actually pretty strong units, honestly. We could also just grab one of these other ones. Just get some more faith or something in. Culture. I don't know. It's hard to argue with another one of these. I'm gonna let the swordman stay on this island and kind of work his way around. I mean, obviously we're not founding religion, so maybe we just finish theology the good old fashioned way. Looks like that's a good idea. And we're about to get into the campus district at some point. Honestly, over here is not a bad place for a city. Let's go ahead and finish up our walls. Yeah, sure. That should be okay. Man suffers only because he takes seriously what the In democracy, it's your vote that counts. In feudalism, it's your count that votes. I don't think I changed anything just yet. All right, so we got a quite a few boosts. Pick up medieval fairs, that's good. And an arms unit would be pretty strong, but we need a boost for that if we're going to go that route. Which I suppose we could plug in if we're not going to be running this right now. Is this one right? Feudal contract? Yep. Down to 19 turns. Yeah, let's get us a man at arms. Because again... Making this look a bit stronger is never a bad thing. Do have one envoy here. There's some more go uh, let's go with the faith. Cause we might be able to squeeze out one more builder somewhere like up here. 340. It's going to be tight, but I think we can potentially.
All right, swap off engineering for now. I mean, I guess Sturbs is already boosted. Uh, mathematics, we got... The, I guess we're missing one district. I mean, we'll eventually get the commercial hub, which will give us the third one. But not anything we're going to get right this second. We need a third archer to be able to get our boost for machinery. Alrighty, um... Actually about to get a third pop here. Nice. Still a long ways away from that commercial hub, though. Yeah, sure. We'll give you some horses. Where did you come from? Oh, here. Okay. Well, we're dead. That's not fair. Just saying. <laughs> like, that's not fair at all. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ah. Well, there goes our quadrime. <laughs> Dude, even my swordman is outclassed. Yeah, this is this is not good. Guess we'll come over here and do as much damage as we can before we die. Because we will die. Well, we definitely need to start working towards better ships then. Not that we didn't already know, kind of know that, but that is a massive trigger for that. Oof. I mean, we'll keep working towards this, but man. Our barons are too strong, man. That's not good. Alright, let's get us another archer here just because that it will be useful for getting up to crossbowmen. I mean, we're definitely behind on technology. I'm not not going to pretend that's not the case. Don't know that I'd change anything right this second. We're going to get a third archer, so we're actually going to start pushing towards that. A lot of gold. Um, okay, first off, I wanted you to have a builder. Three more turns. And then we definitely have enough gold for a settler. We need, the, we need the science, I think. It's got us 10 science right there. Let's 
I mean, it does get us within range of two. Um, I'm sorry, no, that's not. A, I was thinking that was a uh, a work boat. That is not a work boat. That is a set of cows all alone on the middle in the middle of an island. Uh, it does get us close to the ivory, though. So I actually think that this is the right move. No, we're not, re not ready to go to war with anybody right now. So I appreciate the offer. Honestly, I don't want to lose the galleys, so we're going to move the galley back in here. I mean, we definitely want industrial zones and stuff. Still got room for traders, though. I'm actually going to get us another man-at-arms, just to, again, establish our presence a bit here. Move. Thank you. Could settle on the stone. Still keeps that within range. Oh, no, we can't because of that. Otherwise, that would be a better tile, I think. All right, we'll just settle in place. It's going to move the force, but I'm okay with this. I don't know how you think this is land is yours. I guess it's land that's not on her continent or something like that. Is that how that works? I'm not going to give you 60 iron for two gold, but I will see if anybody else wants it. I guess you're the only person that wants... Actually, I'll give you 10 iron for two gold. That I'm okay with. Also okay with that. Okay. Good with all of that. Oh, we can get us our builder. Definitely think that's worth it. So give us a tradable incense. Good amount of gold coming in. That's good. I mean, I think we definitely want to buy. We don't. We want the upgrades for the crossbowmen. We also want to buy this as soon as we can. You know, kind of get that set up. But I think that's the plan. Although that probably won't be that expensive. All that glisters is not gold. Often have you heard that told. It's nineteen gold. Wow. Yeah, definitely grab that. Unfortunately, we still need the seven production for right now. Anything we change up here? I don't think so. Uh, we might be able to swap this thing out if we wanted to put something else there, but I don't think anything else really matters. So, nah, we are good. If anything, we might swap governments at this point. Will we ever build an encampment? I actually don't know, but... For now, I'm going to go with civil service. I mean, I think it's probably time to grab somebody else. I wish we could have a better idea of which ones, you know, got trade routes going through it. It's 
like Plymouth might be one at some point. So we're just going to see to Plymouth for now. I don't want to save your last charge for the elephants. Or I could go chop the stone to rush this thing out. That actually might be a better, although we don't have him set up. Is there something we would like to chop, though? Plains Hills Lumber Mill? So I guess we technically put one there already, but... Yeah, maybe, because then we could put a... a, a uh, Industrial zone, like right here, surrounded by mines. That might not be bad. Although we could also put one here. Mine, or lumber mill mine, things like that. And maybe even an aqueduct. That actually might be fine too, which we still want to chop this then. So no, I think that's actually okay. Move you down here. Um, potentially put an aqueduct here. And then a bunch of mines around it. Now that, I think that's actually good. If we put it here, one, two, three, four, five, that will help that. One, three, four, five, yeah, that helps that. So no, we definitely want to put an industrial zone there. In fact, that is worth tacking, I think. Probably keep this as a lumber mill. Oh, yeah, there it is. There's a plus one there. Call this a mine. Plus two now. And then I attack there for a aqueduct. Plus five. Yeah, that's a really good one. That is... That is going to be nice. Unfortunately, we need some population before we can do that. Uh, Aqueduct will help with that, though. No, it won't, because it's not a housing problem. It's a uh, food problem. So a trade route is actually what's going to help with that. But make sure we focus on food coming in. I don't do a lot of tax, but I think this is a really good situation to put them in. All right, we just need whatever's going to be good food. Here should be either Plymouth or London. I mean, London's closer. And London actually would be a land route, which would give us a big long road. So why not? I mean, water mill's worth a little bit more food. We do still want the aqueduct at some point. Let's just do the aqueduct. All right, my military strength feels a lot better compared to everybody else now. It's going to get even better now, as soon as we plug all these in. Oh, way more expensive than I was thinking that they would be. We could just grab... Uh, what is it? Marks. Work our way up to marks. That's probably a good idea. I don't think we're going to get the encampment. So it's going to go military training into marks. I mean, we do need an encampment, though. What am I saying? Because the reason we need an encampment is because we do have bonuses to our military, our engineers and stuff. Maybe I should just go ahead and get an encampment here. Before we get this man at arms out. Having one encampment out somewhere is, is going to be good for us. I mean, we got gold, culture. Let's go with gold, I guess.
Alrighty. Um. <laughs> Oh, I need to get you a trade route too. I forgot about that. Guess I could buy you a trade route. I think that's worth the money. Honestly, for now, keep the internal ones until we just get a little bit of like our feet under us. Returns until Stuck upon Trent finally grows. The four pop that we get to build the industrial zone. <laughs> Great house and Colossus are both still available. Got a few tiles over here we can improve. I'm going to get us a builder here. The taxpayer. That's someone who works for the federal government, but doesn't have to take the civil... All right, the amenities is obviously really good here. I still think we need the production. I mean, it feels yucky, but I still think it's necessary for these smaller cities. We're never going to build two markets, so getting guilds uh, is just going to have to happen. I say never. I mean, I don't see where we would have a reason to. It's going to be pretty much all lighthouses everywhere. Hello. Okay, that's going to be a tough one, but we do have a man at arms, which I, excuse me, I believe we'll face off against that just fine. Uh, Pikeman? Yeah, we're good. Excuse me, got a little bit of a hiccup. Um, yeah, that's fine. Value gold more than our diplomatic favor right now. I think we live if we just fort up. Three sixty for our next builder. How much for our next settler? We can actually buy a settler right now. You know what? Why not? I, we've got him in place. We've still got the discount, right? I'm not wrong about that. Yeah, we still got it 30% cheaper. So I think we keep pushing the settlers then. Few inventions have been so simple as the stirrup. But Get more food from our pastures, not bad. Fair score for that. All right, where are we putting you? I mean, there are some good places over here, but two Ben's already gotten spot there. She's already expanding a little bit there. Surprised we're not getting any suggestions. I mean, I'm going to have to think for myself. I think down here would be good because one, two, three, there's one, one, two, three, there's two, uh, three, four, five, or technically six, we ever get to that one, but at least five new work boats that we could get into. Although, if we back you up to here, we can grab that one as well. We'd have to put an aqueduct down or something, but that actually might... Uh, yeah, that might be all right. Sure. Let's 
Go for that. I'm about to build a, another specialty district here soonish. We'll have to swap off of that, but we will get there. Can we do alliances yet? Yeah, we can. We definitely want to research alliance with you, my friend. Because... Oh, you already... I was, I was looking at that wrong. I was like, isn't that what we just proposed? No, it's a one-time deal instead of to return. Oh, that's fine. If you're going to give me gold just so I can be in alliance with you and get benefit from whatever you got going on, all that is worth it. Um, anybody else we want to get an alliance with for any particular reason? I mean, militarily, Katarja or uh, Dido would be okay. We are trading with Wilhelmina a little bit, so maybe a um, economic. Yeah, that's fine. I don't know that we need any more super desperately right now. We might hold off a little bit on the other ones. We'll see. If we get any other uh, key trade routes, we might consider that. Hmm. Can't go out there with anything but like our men at arms here. If we got crossbow, we could, but I guess we'll send you up that way because we're going to need to protect Sheffield. I think just getting the granary right away is going to be too too helpful to, to ignore. And they'll go right into building that. More traders obviously good. I'm going to get an ancient walls here just because we know that the barbarians are pretty strong over here. Just to kind of protect us a little bit. Although they'll probably go for Manchester more than anything. All right, we're going to go ahead and put a cut in there. I'm actually going to go ahead and swap off of this. Just so I remember to swap back and that that's what I'm doing. <laughs> we are building an aqueduct over here. We'll go ahead and just plug that in. We will go back to that other one, but I just want to make sure I don't forget that we are waiting on one of these two districts to pop in to give us the boost for that. We're getting there. Feeling mostly good, honestly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's our eight cities. I mean, not bad, honestly. Technically, there could be room for one down here. I don't know if that's worth it or not. I'm okay with this one, I think, especially when we get out here to get all these things. Now, this is, this is not too bad. We just need to kind of focus on infrastructure and get ready for some sort of a mid-game something. Anyway, I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you, and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you, and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout-out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.